Spanish tourism minister Fernando Valdez said his government would act alone in allowing British tourists back to Spain, even if there was no agreement on this proposed vaccine pass. Spain is a preferred holiday destination for British tourists and they spent around £18 billion in the country in 2019. Numbers were down by over 80% last year due to the pandemic. The loss of tourism has continued this year. Spain saw over 4 million tourists in January of last year, but experienced a 90% drop this January. Among British tourists, there was a 96.7% drop compared to the first month of 2019. However, there are some signs now that the industry will be making a recovery this summer, following Boris Johnson's announcement of the UK's roadmap to de-escalating the lockdown. Reservations for holidays in Spain this summer increased by up to 600% from one day to the next. The European Commission aims to present its plans for the EU-wide digital certificate providing proof of a COVID-19 vaccination that could allow Europeans to travel more freely over the summer on March 17th and to cooperate with its international organisations to ensure that its system also works beyond the European Union. The pass would provide proof that a person has been vaccinated, the results of tests for those not yet vaccinated, and information on recovery for people who have contracted COVID-19. The Commission wants to establish an EU-wide system to prevent separate deals being hatched between EU countries that would fragment its internal market and to avoid finding itself subject to a system set by a third country or by a tech giant. Vaccine deliveries are expected to sharply increase in the coming months.